All right, so we've got three puzzles. One of them's here, one of them's there, and one of them's there. This is nice. I like this place. Nice castle. Human eye. What is a man's eye but a machine for the little creature that sits behind his brain to look through? No, there's no creature inside our brain or behind our brain. It is man's eyes. Is it man's eyes or is it the big seeing engine which has revealed to us the existence of worlds beyond worlds into infinity? What has made man familiar with the scenery of the moon, the spots on the sun, or the geography of the planets? He is at the mercy of the seeing engine for these things and is powerless unless he tacks it on to his own identity and makes it part and parcel of himself. It's kind of saying, uh, going to like the idea of idealism or phenomenalism. Preservation.txt I viewed with a mixture of piety and horror these beings trained to be sold to slaughter or to be slaughtered, and fell into reflections on an old opinion of mine that it is the preservation of the species, not of individuals, which appears to be the design of the deity throughout the whole of nature. Blossoms come forth, only to be blighted. Fish lay their spawn where it will be devoured, and what a large portion of the human race are born merely to be swept prematurely away. Does not this waste of budding life empathetically assert that it is not men, but man, whose preservation is so necessary to the completion of the grand plan of the universe? Children peep into existence, suffer, and die. Men play like moths about a candle and sink into the flame. War and the ten thousand ills which flesh is heir to mow them down in shoals, whilst the most crucial prejudices of society policy existence introducing not less sure though slower decay. That is an interesting thought, but I personally believe that the individual is very important and uh, morally valuable. One of the world's most fascinating aspects of St. Edwald's recently uncovered writings is his preoccupation with finding divine truth in mathematical concepts, which at times borders on pantheism. That is, God existing in everything. He was, it would seem, particularly concerned with what we now call tetrominoes, seeing in them a reflection of the te tetragrammaton and the Greek word for God, Theos. Their ability and the reason the TH are together is because the Greek letter theta makes the th sound, and so it would count as one letter when translated. Their ability to form other shapes out of themselves symbolized to him the creator's ability to reshape the world without breaking the laws he himself established. Edwald referred to the te to tetrominoes as singula, sigilla, sig sigils, implying that they were a more truthful version of the magical symbols worshipped by heathens, rooted in both the Abrahamic tradition and careful observation of creation. It is unlikely that these texts were distributed, as they would almost certainly have resulted in charges of heresy. So that's where where Elohim, El Zero, got the idea of using tetrominoes as sigils. Uh, <laughs> was that an actual text, or, or was it... Was it made up for this game as a justification for making Tetris puzzles? Uh... Star, star, star. Where's my password? Wait, what? Three stars? There's no sign with three stars. <gasps> I figured- I know the password. I know the password. Look, it's a seven. It's not an eight. I thought I thought there were eights because this was world eight, but no, this was a seven. I get it. I get it. I know the password. Uh, I don't remember. I th well, it's it's eight eight seven. <laughs> Or if it's not, maybe maybe I saw one of these other numbers wrong. If it's not 887, I'll have to go find it. That made me feel clever. 
cobweb. I really like this track. Where's the laser I'm using? Not over there. There's a red one. Here we are. Alright, let's see if we can do the same... Same technique we did before. Or does it just open? Am I just... nope. Right, it's not gonna just open. There we go. What? No. Oh. This guy's too close. Oh well, but I can get him. Bam. Get out of the way. And then the only thing I can do, the only way I can get anything with this red one is with a box. Okay. Well, I don't need that open anymore for the moment. Oh, I can desynchronize these. If I have to. Okay. I don't think I can get in there. This is gonna close it, right? Yeah. Is there one going back and forth here too? Yeah. I'm gonna try... I'm gonna try it again, but I'm gonna be better at it. I'm gonna go as far this way as I can. There we go. And now, if there's enough... I should be able to... get it from here. And it should just go fine. Yeah. This one's easier. Wait, there's another one? Wait, what's hitting? Oh, there's a thing over there, I see. Oh! That's not gonna be easy. So what I have to do, is I have to open both of these, and I have to... So the red one will... Oh no. What? One, two, three, four. Okay, I got four. Okay. So... Oh, come on. I put this one here. Get all these guys bouncing in sync, I think. So, I'll just barely open. Put you here. There we go. How about that? It's in the in sync. Okay, your turn. Is there more 
to it than this? One, two, three, four. Oh, wait. Here we go. No, I have a better idea. Here we go. Let's oh, oh wait, no we can't. This isn't gonna work, is it? Cause that dude is gonna knock him down. And it's just out of sync. Yeah, that's not this isn't gonna work. How do we get this to work? I have an idea. Oh. It's not a good idea. No, it's a terrible idea. <laughs> it's like, what if I do, do them the opposite direction? I can't reach it from here. This is a challenge. There's so many of these guys and I can't just put them in sync. Let's see. Can I, can I get two of them? Can I do this? Is that gonna mess it up? Okay, now what if I do this? No, I'd have to do it here. No, that's not gonna work, because it's gonna cross the lasers. Give this one two lasers. All right. Let's get you off of here. But I can only get this one two lasers. Just no way to block those guys. So here's a question. Is there a way to get both of these? So if I get it over here, I have another idea. It's kind of similar to what I was just doing. So connect straight through here. Like put it there. Um, yeah, we don't need this anymore. And then go like this. All right, there we go. That's better. Now, um, except for when those cross in the middle, these are all open. All right. Let me in. I think I've solved the puzzle. Unless this guy has to be moved out of the way. Oh, it's so slow. No, no, that's not true. That's impossible. Let me out. Okay. Okay. Is there a way to use more than one of these windows? To open up all these. Alright. 
Um, I might actually be able to just use... Ooh, here's an idea. I might actually just be able to use this box over here and not need it for these parts. So, if I take this one, put it here, I actually want to move this one far away. I think I've got it, guys. I think I've almost got it. I think I'm very close. Where's that third one? There it is. Yeah, see, now this one's staying open. Now I gotta get this one to stay open, and I do that like this. Now this one should stay open. Yeah! And now, I can use this box. Hit there. Hit here. And it should go, yeah, right over all of them. Wait, why did that close? Why is it closing? Why are those closing? Wait, did this one just open? Uh, is it just a waiting game? I'm gonna reset. In case I knock the guys in the wrong place. And that's what's making it a problem. Don't block any of these guys. In case they're just automatically in the right... I guess they're not. Mm. They seem to be have been staying open for a while. Let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in! Yeah! Uh, this puzzle must have been insane to design. Jeez. Wow. around here. Anything? I had, we haven't found any QR codes in this world yet. One more L. Unreachable Garden. Alright. Ooh, this is neat. I like this idea. Uh, platform? Is there any way to put something on the platform? Maybe not yet. There's a box behind that door. 
I like that there's challenging puzzles right now. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna leave it for... Oh, wait, no. Yeah, this one... I'm gonna put it here. Now... No, I gotta connect this one. That's right. Put it as far this way as I can. That wasn't as far as I can. That's pretty important. Alright, I'm gonna leave it for a few seconds. Now, play. Remove this. Just put it there. We are. You connect here, here, and over to this one. Haha. <laughs> what? What? Oh, it's not ready yet. There we go. Haha, -ha, now we've got this open. Oh darn it. No. <sighs> oh, come on, no. That was it though. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. All right, we do it again. Didn't realize I had to do that. All right, that's here. And now this one can hit there, there, and there. We good. Uh, up to the 20 seconds. All right, we should be good now. Let's get ready. Uh, pick up. <laughs> yeah, don't stand there, dude. No! Don't stand there! Oh, that was close. <laughs> uh, there's a ladder there. Alright, now there's some more stuff here. Do I get another connector? Obviously I have to. Because it would be impossible to do that with just one connector. Right? Right? <laughs> No, here's what I can do. This one's gonna stay here, but I can use the second one to get it over to here. Okay. All right. Stay here for 10 seconds. Here we go. Now, take this and run. Oh, jeez. Uh oh. I think I locked myself out. Yup. All right. Now, what did I want to do? I want to turn this on for a long time so that I can get in here. Get the box out. And, uh... What do I want to do? Oh man, this isn't in the right place. Here we are. Let's try this again. Let's move this one back a little farther. That should be enough. There we go. What? No, they crossed. No! Okay, I gotta do it on the first try. Ah, so many tries. Here we are. Now, we should be able to see this one from over here. Yep. Let me see it from over here. 
So we can knock that thing, that thing, and here, and here. And then we should be good. How long do we want? A good 15 seconds should be a good amount of time. There we are. Now this should be self-sustaining. Make sure not to run into, not to block too many of the lasers for too long. Well, I wonder if I can shoot through these windows. Maybe it'll be relevant. Maybe not. Ooh, I can, I can open it from this side. Hmm. So what I have to be able to do is somehow get a laser over here. That looks like it's not going to be easy. I can only use two lasers. I can use two boxes. Oh, I know what I can do. I know how to do it. Or I have an idea. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to do this, and I'm going to pick this up. And I'm going to stand next to the box. And then my alt self will put the will put the laser my future self will put the laser on top. And then I'll jump up here. And it will be connected to that one as well. Hmm. Okay, so what I've got to do is I got to have myself. I think I got to be standing on the box right here. I got to be standing on the box with the platform on my head, with the laser on top of it. Uh, no, I guess not here. Here? No. Wait, yeah, here. Because this one can just see it. Yeah, here with the laser on my head, and it's hitting that one, and it's bouncing from another one. Okay. So it's gonna be bouncing from right here, I think. Yeah, because I can't see it from this one. I think I made a mistake, again. I think I wanted it to be over here. It's gotta be, gotta be where it can see this one. So like, maybe even like, way over, uh, right here. This is a, is a... Hmm. Or... Maybe it's actually gotta be inside the door. Yeah, cause I can see that, but it can't see there. Huh. Problem. Uh, I could use the box. Okay, I could use the box to get that one. No. That would be kind of pointless. Hmm. I do need to be able to get through here. Okay. What do I need? I need to have myself with a platform right here with a laser on top. And this laser needs to be connected to a connector somewhere that can see another laser source. If a connector is here, or if it's That connector is here. Right here. 
over here. Then we can get that laser source if we have a box here. The question is, how can we get the laser source there and have a box here and still be able to get through there and turn the thing on and off? Because I can climb over a ladder here to get back, but if this door is closed, then I don't have any way of getting in there again. So, I need one that hits a source, hits this one, and can hit me holding a laser on top of a box. Or I wonder if I can stand on top of here. I'm gonna try standing on top of there first. Alright, walk over here, stand here to get myself on top of there. Now I jump here, see if I can stand on top of here. So if I can, I might be able to place a laser on top of this fence, which gives me more options. Especially if I can take the box. Oh, I can't. Yeah, I can get up here. Oh, hey. Yeah, if I can get the laser up here, then I can just see the source. No. I'm gonna try it again. Wait, what am I doing? I don't want to be up here. <laughs> Actually, I do. Yeah, I want to be up here. Um. Alright. Let's go up here. Um, okay, no, I just need two. But I can see that one. Might be able to see that one from here. Might be too high though. Can I jump over to there? Yeah, I can jump over here. This isn't gonna help me because uh, that wall is gonna be in the way. All right. So. I needed this one to be close. I need it to be close. I'm gonna see how close I can get it. For most tedious puzzle goes to <laughs> all right what do we got to do we got to go in here get the box the box goes here all right grab this stand here here and in case I missed and again just for good measure in case I you know need the box 
So I'm gonna stand here for a good 30 seconds so that I know for absolute sure that I don't have to start the whole puzzle over again. There we go. Now, let's take this. Get up here. Get on top. Get on top! Come on! Oh, I don't even need that box there. So, you... and you... you. And it just works! Yes! Ha! Run out before I get stuck. <laughs> it worked! I guess I didn't even need the box. Yeah, because I could just... No, I needed the box to get on top of myself here. Okay. That was the most tedious puzzle in the entire game. It was satisfying to solve, but not so satisfying to execute. Just looking for QRs. Hold on a sec. There's a big bug in my kitchen. Well, it disappeared. Um, oh, hey, there's a QR code. It disappeared. I think it's a firefly, but it was definitely big enough to be a wasp, so... Uh, it didn't sound like a wasp, though. My faith has taken me to this secret place. Here I hope to discover a way of better serving others. Uriel 4. Nexus. Well, might as well start with that, right? That's the end. Okay. I see the difficulty right now. Okay, that one's actually raised though. So, we might be able to just go under it. No. Okay. Hmm. I put it all the way over here. Yeah! See? And then it's separated enough that it counts as being above. I guess it's uh, corridor number two now. Oh, there's two of them. Okay. What's well, the challenge? Alright, got two more. Oh, I see the challenge. So I need to get blue around here, while also getting red through here. Um, okay. Doesn't seem that hard. Let's put the red one on top of the box. so bad. Now we got another blue source. And, um, I don't see another red source. I'm gonna to have to do something. We got a, a connector. We're gonna to have to get this blue laser somewhere. Ooh, I think we're gonna to have to take some stuff out of here. Open that. What's over here? Ah, another connector. Never mind. I think we should be good. But what's that? Is this an Easter egg place? 
There's no stars in these areas, is there? I can turn the camera through this gate. Is the gate gonna go down or up? Can I get something? Oh, I bet that's the way back. Yeah. Here, to here. So far, this one hasn't been that much of a challenge. It's been just been like a, a do the things puzzle. Multi segment puzzle. It is nice to get. Um, let's put you here. It is nice to get checkpoints. And you. Is this part really just this easy? It is. All right, I gotcha. Hmm. Now I could just leave, or I could go see what's up with this fan area. I'm gonna do that. Whee! Uh, okay, so I can jump and go up. Is it gonna take me to bonus Easter egg? Whee! I'm up so high! Is there any way to go from here? Or am I just looking at stuff? It's a nice, neat place. There's another castle over there. Mountains all around, as usual. What if I just hold forward? Can I land on top? Nope, not on there. What about on the smaller one? Over here. Nope. I can't... There's no certainly no way I can bring a box over here, right? The box is trapped in the middle of the puzzles. Yeah, there's ladders. I can't bring the box. Well, I can't just leave. I gotta see if there's any reason to come up here. Oh, is it spell something? It spells Nexus! Cool! It's the name of the puzzle. I'm glad I saw that. Alright, so that is all of the six sigils. The last number is seven. Hello, welcome back to some more Let's Play The Talos Principle. I don't know if this is the beginning of an episode or not, but we are going into the tower number six. I did confirm last time the code is, um, the code is 887. And uh, I didn't realize it was a code the first two times because they were both eights. And so I was like, oh, it's world A8. It's world B8. And then the third one is seven. And I was like, what? what? <laughs> And then I realized, oh, that's the code. So now I'm going back to the closest computer that I can find, which I'm pretty sure I can just, I'm pretty sure I can just run around and get to it. Here we are. And let's open up this floor. Floor number six. Device manager, floor number six. Um, floor access control, two. Took the floor to reconfigure, six. Code, eight, eight, seven. Enter, code accepted. All right, we have unlocked 
We've unlocked floor number six. I am super excited. I, like, we've already gotten... Now, I don't want to say the good ending, but the true ending, because all the endings are good that I've seen. Um, I haven't seen any bad endings. It's time to see what we've got in floor number six. But the silver sigil is to take all the... Oh, okay, we're going down. I thought we were going to go up really high. Wait, no. Yeah, we're going down below. Just watch, it's, it's another whole temple. <laughs> What have we got? My we beloved pipes. child, few have given themselves so purely to my cause. Fewer still have learned so much of the mysteries of my garden. Therefore, you may choose to be elevated, to stand by my side and become my blessed messenger in eternity. Ooh. But know that this is a sacrifice that cannot be undone. Okay, so it sounds like... I don't even know how to put these pieces in. <laughs> that position will work. And this... Okay, I got it. I figured it out. I think this might be the only solution to this puzzle. So is this like the path of Uriel and Selfiel and what's the other one? I should know the other one. Is this just the ending? No more puzzle? It is now time to choose your epitaph. For your body shall be entombed, though you shall not die. Oh, so I get to be here. This spot. I get to this spot, and then I get to be the messenger. I wonder if... If, like, someone else on my friends list plays this, then if they come here and, like, I pop out of the coffin. Like, I know that that happens with the, the QR codes that you paint. Does that happen with this ending, too? Man, I don't, I don't know if I have friends who are gonna play this. Actually, I, I probably do have a friend who's gonna play this game on Steam. I don't have a lot of Steam friends. All right. Um, what are the options? I swear I won't be as obscure as the rest of them. <laughs> Not sure this was the right idea, but here we go. Let go of your ego, and you will perceive eternity. As a bataf, wait, what? What? Wait a second. <laughs> Every single sigil, no beating that. Now, I'm, this, this is not, like, you get to be this far, this is not a time to be bragging and boastful. Like, this is a spiritual moment. Don't make my mistake. Turns out epitaph means you're dead. I searched this land to serve the glory of Elohim. This is my just reward. Remember, everything is merely a promise, premise in the grand equation. I have faith in the designer. I shall be the eternal guardian of this world. Made the Hall of Fame. Eat it. <laughs> what a waste of time this all was. You have to provide your own answers, but I will help you to see them where I can. I like this one the best. Everything is a premise in the grand equation. So that could sound cynical. Like, like everything is planned out and there's no choices it's just we're all acting out our parts but it could also it can also be like you know transcendental like you, there's this big thing that is beyond what any of us can comprehend i'm going to choose that one it is written that there is no greater love than to lay down your life for another Achievement, blessed message. But your sacrifice is greater still. For instead of resting in eternity, you have chosen to serve all the generations to come. They shall strive for greatness, and through you, they shall accomplish it. For you are no longer a child. You are my messenger.
it's got my Steam profile picture too. My Steam profile picture is uh, more more appropriate to this game than my Square Guy pro profile picture. <laughs> more appropriate to the the emotional theme of this moment. Uh, however, if somebody came in, oh man, wouldn't it have been awesome if somebody got to the Messenger Island and just saw my Square Guy, but like the Talos version that is on these thumbnails? That would be so cool. Man, I wish I had known, I would have done that. Oh, that's really cool though. Man, I really love, I guess it's time for final thoughts again. <laughs> uh, since this is the last ending. So yeah, I will be playing Road to Gehenna pretty soon. There's also, there's also word that the Talos Principle 2 is in the works. And I don't know how that's going to work given the way this story went. But yeah, when, that, when the second sequel comes out, I'll be playing it too. Yeah, so what I loved about this game was the themes, the, the ideas of um, evolution of ideas, evolution of technology, and what it means to be human and preserving humanity beyond humanity. That is beautiful and awesome, and I absolutely love it. The puzzles were great. I love that they have you thinking outside the box, um, using lasers from other puzzles and stuff like that. I wish they had done the outside the box stuff more. Um, you know, regular game, I guess, that don't have you thinking too much outside of the box. The stars where you shoot lasers through the barriers and stuff like that, that was cool. I, I wish there were, was more of that. Um, the graphics were cool. I mean, these are the best graphics I've seen on a computer because I had a crappy laptop before this desktop, and I was super excited to get in. I know they're not great for present day standards, but they are great for my standards of um, what I've been doing. Uh, or what I've had my whole life. Um, I like the characters that you get to learn through the QR codes. That was really neat, just seeing the messages they left behind and seeing the characters grow over time. I mean, some of them got past me, like, like there were some early ones. I, like, I, I don't know what happened to the dog. I don't remember what happened to sheep. But, like, having the shepherd and Samsara up there at the top of the tower helping you and hindering you after seeing their philosophical journeys throughout the game. That was so cool. Man, I love this game. The Easter eggs were kind of meh. You know, kind of, I mean, it's, it's not really my thing. It's kind of boring. Um, but it was always fun to find them. You know, I can, I can never t call a game bad for having extra stuff in it. A couple of the stars were ridiculous. It's like, so for the, that very first star in World 1A, it's make sure to check every single corner, and if you're mashing your face against the wall, like, I literally went and mashed my face against every single wall, but that one corner was like, I can see how I would have missed that, because I was going clockwise around all the walls. If I had been going counterclockwise, I would have found it. Uh, yeah, and I was not going to go do that again. Just to solve the puzzle. So, like, finding stars is not that, that, like, I, I like most of the stars. There's just a couple, and the one where you have a combination lock, where you have to decode the QR code, and you have to decode the, <laughs> um, the hexadecimal inside the QR code is like, n nah, no. That's, that's too convoluted for what a puzzle solving should be, unless it is that type of game premise from the beginning. Uh, let's see what else. I would have liked there to be more collectibles. It seemed like there were like ledges and stuff to jump on in the worlds, and I could you could explore, but there just wasn't anything to find. Uh, I'm a collectibles guy. I like 
collectathons. I like Metroidvanias. Um, I love that kind of game. And just having all these worlds that you could explore, but there was nothing to find, that was like, it was just, you know, I wish there was stuff to find. Um, yeah, the, the one last thing that I didn't really like about this game was sort of the, the attitude, and it felt, it felt like the, the nomadics people were like, oh, they were always taking jabs at each other, and, and, uh, that's, that's not the type of personality I would like. I wouldn't have liked to work with that group. Uh, that is me personally. I know different people are different. Um, but like the, that comment that was like, oh, it's not the code that's broken, it's your brains that are broken. And, and like the, the, the sassy things that you can paint on the walls, it's like, haha, I, I beat this in 20 seconds, get on with it. You know, it's funny sometimes, but there, there, the whole game was just full of that kind of attitude, and sometimes it, it rubbed me the wrong way, and uh, it it kind of kind of gave me the impression that it wasn't just in the game, but that but that that was sort of the attitude of the developers of the writers, and uh, you know, it, was, it 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 turned me off just a little bit. But of course, the rest of the game was just so good that it, this is overall definitely a very good game and one that I'm going to recommend to anybody who asks. So yeah, that was the Talus Principle. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this game, you want to see more games, we'll do more puzzle games, I promise. Then let me know in the comments and subscribe. And uh, thank you once again for watching through this series with me. I'll see you in another game. Bye!